With One Piece Season 2 now in the works, viewers can look forward to some fantastic characters and the cast that will play them. Luffy's father, Monkey D. Dragon, is a fascinating character that fans can expect in Season 2, and he's one of the significant characters in the Logetown arc. Although there are doubts about this arc happening in the live action, Dragon is a very rebellious character that could still make it into the show. From the original animation, Dragon is tagged as the world's worst criminal, aside from this exciting title. He's also the supreme commander of the Revolutionary Army, whose aim is to overcome the world's government. However, Dragon's role was limited in the original version, but his character arc could be expanded as it might be crucial for Luffy and his team. Although there are speculations that the man in the green cloak during the execution of Gold Roger could be Dragon. The face of the person wasn't revealed, so that means any actor could get cast for it in One Piece 2. Interestingly, there are reports of who could play this character. A One Piece fan page revealed that Dean Damons would be portraying Dragon in season two. Also, they pointed out that Netflix might choose to cast a younger person since One Piece live action is running for 12 seasons, but Dean could play both the old and more youthful version of Dragon as the series advances. And there's a picture of Dean, which supports that he closely resembles Inaki Godoy, who plays Luffy. Sir Crocodile is that well-known villain many anime fans can't wait to meet in live action. Aside from being a dangerous and intelligent evil evildoer, Crocodile is one character that would be hard to eliminate as he will become a longtime antagonist for Luffy. And that means he's not going anywhere even after season two. One of the things that makes this villain so powerful is that he's connected to different big names and positions as he's the president of the crime syndicate Baroque Works. And to top it all, Crocodile was a part of the Seven Warlords, uh, so he's a big deal. And if Baroque Works becomes one of the main story arcs in season two, there's no way Luffy won't come across him. Due to how interesting this character sounds, there have been arguments about who can efficiently portray the role. One of the crazy theories about the character is that he's a transgender man who changed after eating a devil's fruit. So there are indications that One Piece's live-action crocodile would be cast as a woman. Also, Oda's drawing of Crocodile as a child shows that the character could be either a girl or a boy. And there's a picture from the execution scene that fans have been saying might be the crocodile in season two. However, since the theory of the crocodile being a woman has yet to be confirmed, fans think the actor Oscar Isaac would best fit the role. The Straw Hat Pirates desperately need a doctor, and that will be Tony Tony Chopper in season two. Unlike many other characters, in the One Piece world, Chopper is a reindeer, but after eating a Hito Hito no Mi, he can change his body into a human reindeer mix. Interestingly, Chopper has a goal that makes him fit more into the Straw Hats team, which is to know the cure for every illness in the world, so he's a vital crew member because the team would always require his service because of how dangerous their journey is. Also, Chopper is an amusing character, so viewers would love him for his sense of humor. Since Chopper isn't human, only a voice actor might be cast, and that leaves most of the work to CGI and special effects to bring this character to life. One of the showrunners, Stephen Maida, has hinted that creating the human reindeer live action would be very challenging for the team, but they will make him very special. He said, all I know about Chopper is he's my favorite character in the show, and so I love Chopper. It's a challenge for sure. So viewers should set their expectations high because One Piece plans on exciting viewers with Chopper's live action image. Before Chopper became a desirable doctor, he learned from Dr. Kuraha, and this is another character fans would be seeing during the second season. She's an elder who adopted Chopper and lives on Drum Island. As soon as Chopper becomes a part of the Straw Hats, Dr. Kureha will also become a loyal ally of the team. Everything Chopper knows about treatment and medicine was gotten from Dr. Kureha. She adopted Chopper after he lost his family members, so she's a fantastic character who will add more knowledge and substance to One Piece 2. And the big thing about this character is that there are talks that Jamie Lee Curtis would be playing the role. What makes this even more exciting is that Jamie is a One Piece fan and has always wanted to be a part of the franchise. Initially, she planned to play Nico Robin, but because she's much older, Jamie is now eyeing the role of Kureha. In 2021, the actress said, maybe I can be Kureha. She wears those low bell bottoms. She's looking a little nasty, but she has that long stringy gray hair. My daughter Ruby said that that would be what I would play. And to make this even more fun, Jamie's favorite character is Chopper, which means if she gets to play 
Kureha, there would be no doubt about the chemistry. Also, many fans support this, making this a possible casting and dreams usually come true in One Piece franchise. Another engaging member of the Straw Hats that the cast can look forward to in One Piece 2 is the already mentioned Nico Robin. She's a fun character who first started off as an enemy to Luffy and partnered with Crocodile as the vice president of Baroque Works. At the beginning of the original series, she was first introduced as Miss All Sunday, but Robin later left Crocodile to join Luffy's team. She became one of the group's most influential members as an archaeologist and one of the two people in One Piece world who knows how to read poneglyphs. Another interesting fact about Robin is that she also ate a devil's fruit, which gave her the power to reproduce her body parts anytime, and she's also labeled as the devil's child. Aside from Robin duplicating parts of her body, she can do the same with lifeless objects and other people, so it's an exciting power every fan can't wait to see. There have been many speculations on who could be the right actress for Robin, and so many fans believe that Diane Nirenberg, who's around the same age as Robin, would be perfect. However, there are concerns because Netflix plans to make 12 seasons of the show and the actress might not fit into the role after some years. So it's still an ongoing debate as other fans think Anya Chalotra or Millie Brady would make a good fit. However, the showrunner Steven is more concerned about portraying this character's power in live action as he revealed that it would be as challenging as buggies. Many viewers have already seen the back view of Smoker at the end of One Piece season one, and this character is one of the primary villains that fans should expect in season two. And from his introduction at the end of the season, you can already guess he will be another villain who will keep going after Luffy, just like Garp did in season one. Like Garp, Smoker is highly ranked as the commander of the G5 Marine facility and vice admiral. He's also known as White Hunter and was first introduced as a captain. A fascinating thing about Smoker that separates him from most Marines is that he consumed a devil's fruit, which gives him the power to create, control, and turn himself into smoke. However, what's crazy about this power is that he can harden smoke which makes it possible for him to trap others in it. And being shown at the end of season one means he might be the first villain Luffy and his team will face in One Piece 2. As soon as Smoker was teased in season one, fans didn't take time before concluding that Henry Cavill was the best match for the role, and many votes have been supporting this choice. The fun thing about this choice is that it's been getting speculated even before One Piece 1 was released. So officially, the fans have already picked Henry, and the exciting thing about this is that Oda honored the fan casting of Emily Rudd as Nami, which means this could also be happening. Another fascinating character that fans can expect in One Piece 2 is Luffy's brother, Porcus D. Ace. Luffy will get to meet Ace in the Alabasta arc of season two. Ace isn't related to Luffy, by blood. He's the son whom Gold Roger had with Porcus de Rouge. As Roger requested from Garp before being executed, Garp had to adopt Ace, which makes him a part of Luffy's family. Interestingly, Ace is also gifted as he's also known as Fire Fist, a name he got after eating a devil's fruit that gave him the ability to control and turn into flames. He's also a pirate and was formerly the captain of the Spades Pirates before joining the Whitebeard Pirates and becoming the second division commander. Ace is also an essential character to Luffy and he shares an interesting bond with him, which means he might be one of the important characters in One Piece 2. Although many fans of the One Piece anime want most of the characters in the live action to be played by upcoming actors. Some fans think otherwise as they prefer actors they've already seen in action, and when it comes to the casting of Ace, one fan suggested that Timothy Chalamet could be a reasonable choice, but many disagreed. However, most fans have settled for Tyler Lawrence Gray, and they hope that season two makes this a reality. What do you think of these seven new characters and possible cast in One Piece 2? Share your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching. Watching.